Oh, what's that? This isn't the Digimon card game you guys have all been asking us for months to talk about? No, this is the... Oh, whoa. I shouldn't say the old one. One of the old Digimon card games, and this is my favorite Digimon card game. Uh, the Digimon collectible card game, released in, I believe, 2004. Uh, and this game is by far the hardest to come across. Uh, when you look for Digimon cards, you can find the original Digimon English card game easily. You can find Japanese cards easily. This card game, which I believe was English exclusive, is next to impossible to find many times. Uh, and we're not just opening a pack. This is a sealed booster pack I've had sitting around for quite a while. Uh, we are opening an entire blister pack of them. That's right. Twelve packs of the hardest to find Digimon card game, uh, except maybe Detector. Detector is also very hard to find, uh, but I'm so incredibly excited for this. This is one of my favorite games around, uh, not to actually play, just because I really like collecting it, and it's got, I don't know, it's very aesthetically pleasing for me. I can't really explain that one, but yeah, so this is a blister pack. They did make actual booster boxes for it, but unfortunately that's outside my price range. Uh, those have 24 packs. This is just a 12-pack blister. That said, if you do want to, you know, help support us and allow us to buy more expensive things like full booster boxes instead of these blister packs, you can do so by mm, supporting us on Patreon or using our TCG Player affiliate link. Yeah, look at that. We're going to break this open. Now, the one thing I'm going to say is we're only opening 11 packs out of this because I'm going to trade this loose pack for one of those because this one's been sitting out and it's all dirty and grimy and whatnot. So I'm going to exchange this one, which I planned to keep in my collection sealed forever, uh, with one of the packs from this. So you'll still get 12 whole packs opened. Uh, this box opening is one of the last ones you'll ever see for this particular set. There are very few boxes of it left in existence. Uh, and the ones that are still remaining are out of my price range. Bump the thing over just a little bit. Also some cleanup from the last video. Oh, here's the top piece. Should I keep that forever as a collectible and sell it on its own? Let's pull them out. Oh, yes! Oh, oh. Got a little serial code there. Cool. Let's see which pack we're going to swap. Uh, they're all a little bent. Uh, I like this one. But this pack, you get to live on... Oh, no, nope, this one's coming off. Oh, it's not even... Uh-oh. Um, never mind that. I guess that one does not get to live. As a positive, I have one of these now that is, like, perfect. Outside of this little... Eh. Okay, that might be a problem if they're coming loops. Oh, they all are. Well, looks like this guy gets to stay, because he is not coming loose whatsoever. I don't know if that means they were in an env uh, ev environment... It, oh, this one's good. Maybe we'll keep this one. Yeah, we'll trade it. Oh, let me look at them all. Honestly, I think I think my other one's nicer. Let's just break them all open, get all the packs out, and then we're going to take a look at them. I've opened recently one pack of this uh, on my own. And I pulled him as a holographic card, the XVmon. Uh, now, you guys, I hope you're not mad about the total, like, oh, it's Digimon cards. I was, I was clearly joking. I don't know if we're going to cover the current Digimon card game that much, because uh, we've just never been big fans of Japanese-only games. And yes, you can play it with English translations digitally, but I want the physical cards, you know? So I've always been a little torn on what we're going to do for it. But, I mean, I can't ignore it. It is Digimon. Uh, yeah, these are just coming apart. Some of them are very sturdy yet, but some of them are just nope. 
so that's interesting. Uh, so we'll have 12 packs to open. Here they all are. Uh, we'll shuffle them up good. I'm so excited for this, guys. I love this card game. Also made by Bandai. Ready. Great. We've got them thoroughly shuffled. If I remember right, your your high rarity card is uh, in the middle of the pack. There's the card back. Mmm. I love that card back. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take the pack off to the side. I'm not moving into the cards. I'm just seeing if there's any damage because the one pack I opened that was loose that I had uh, had a lot of damage to the cards from being rustled around. But no, they look good. Uh, so this is what the cards look like. And believe it or not, uh, this is your indicator here. This game is completely 100% a Yu-Gi-Oh clone. Yes, really. Uh, so you get various types of cards. Primarily you're getting Digimon, but you also get other types like characters. Uh, I haven't played this game in a while, but I used to play it quite regularly. Uh, does that mean... I do believe that means we did not get a holographic card. Good to know. We did not get a holographic card in this pack. Hawkmon. So yeah, some of the cards use CGI models, and then others use actual uh, printed art, which I find interesting. Uh... If you want to know how expensive this game is, just to have a collection of, you should look at the starter decks. The starter decks can get crazy expensive. I like that Gomamon. That's a good Gomamon. That's a good Gomamon. Uh, and as you'll see here, uh, you get character cards uh, from every generation of up to the time that this came out. Oh, great. Duplicates in the same pack? Really? Hmm. Uh, nothing shiny yet. I don't know what the, like, pull rates are for things whatsoever. A lot of that knowledge is just... Oh, there's a... Oh, yes, War Greymon. Holographic. I love War Greymon. Not my favorite, but he's cool. So you'll see he's a mega from that corner. Uh, and here's his text box. Uh, let me pull him off to the side. I want to read him. Uh, just... Uh, now for when the war Greymon in your attack area, your opponent can only be one did you for per, Mon per turn. <laughs> Smooth, Jacob. Good job. Uh, so we do have a holographic card, and that's amazing. And since I care so much about this game, uh, we're going to sleeve them up right away. And just for that added flair, we're putting them in Pokemon sleeves. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Uh, let's see what else we can get. Can we get some more hollows? That would be cool by me. I'd very much like that. Bandai packs. Always a little tricky to open. No matter the card game. If it's made by Bandai, packs are always... Patamon? Uh, I, yeah, nothing in this pack. Well, that's okay. I still need the cards anyways if I'm ever going to cover this on TCG time capsule which i totally am at some point probably not soon uh, but i very much would like to i'd also very much like to actually play this game again because it's been a, at least a decade since i've actually played it uh and now i've got many more cards for us to build decks with so that's exciting rika uh, so cute uh again no holographic I did not realize the holographics were so hard to pull. Yeah. Let's see. How many packs do we have left? We have seven packs left. Oh, I don't want it to end. At least without a couple more shiny cards. Very cool. Greymon. Joe. Guillaumon. Who's your favorite Digimon, guys? Uh, mine is... The non-shiny version of this, uh, my favorite Digimon is Terriermon, and I like Terriermon to a disturbing, disturbing degree. I love Terriermon so much, I want to start a religion about Terriermon. I love him. His best. Uh, oh, cool looking Vmon. Oh, see, we got a... 
uh, rare with gold text on it. That's really cool. Imperial German fighter mode. I have a figure of this guy somewhere. Uh, we'll sleeve it up. Why not? Sleeve it up! It's very nice. Let's see what's next. Also, uh, I am recording this from home, so it is kind of weird. And I've been able to get the sound quality pretty go good, I hope. Uh, the one thing I haven't been able to take care of is outside the window here to my side is a cricket. And I have... And it's been going non-stop and driving me crazy. And I have no idea whether or not you guys can hear it. So if you can't, please ignore this part of the conversation. Uh, cool cards, cool cards. Nothing shiny or crazy, but uh, we got a Gabumon. A very interesting looking Gabumon. Um, yeah. Let's see. How many packs left? Four packs left. Uh, I got a pretty good price on this particular blister pack. Pack I had to import it from Canada, though. So that was interesting. Oh, that looks cool. An Andromon. Oh, there we go. It's not a Digimon. I would rather have a Digimon in foil, but... Oh, it is. What is that? I've never seen this dude. Hurricane Mon? With how, like empty the art is. I thought it was like one of these, th not, you know, like an item card. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. Who is that? I don't recognize him. Uh, Angemon, though, Matt. Uh, yes, Matt. Everyone's favorite character, Matt. If I keep using the English name, someone's going to get triggered. Matt and Joe. Definitely not Yamato. No siree. We speak America here. <laughs> you speak American on uh, your cards or else. Uh, three packs left. I'm getting sad that it's close to being done. But I can't wait to just go through these in real big detail later on. And just gush over every one of them. They're so cool. That's a not very interesting pack, though. Two packs left. Which one's going to have... Another nice hollow card. I just realized I never sleeve this boy up, and we gotta sleeve it up. Come on, sleeve it up. Boom. There we go. Okay. Come on. Big money. Big money. Come on. Come on. I don't even know exactly what's in this set. Uh, it's hard to find actual set lists online. If you guys know any resources for that, please let me know. I've been looking. We do have another hollow. Vikemon? Or is it VKmon? Uh, that's interesting. I'm going to pull it off to the side. Falls from Mega An Magna Angemon. Hmm? Uh, I like the foiling. It's nice. He looks kind of derpy, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, let's see if I can get you a nice... Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. He looks a little special. Okay. Uh, we gotta, of course... First, let's finish the pack. Candlemon. I love Candlemon. Good, good design. Uh, let's, uh... You know the deal, guys. We're gonna sleeve it up. Boop. There we go. Last pack. Can we get one final holographic card? Maybe another X Vidramon, because my loose one, my loose pack had him, but it was like really damaged because it was bent and had some dents in it. So that would be really cool. Uh, I don't believe this set is the one where you can get the Terriermon evolution line, but so I can't hope for that, but I can still hope for good cards. That looks crazy. What What's going on here? Night device? Black Gargamon. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, uh, no holographic. But we got a Flame Dramon. That's pretty sweet. Um, Well, that last pack was a bit of a letdown. But let's take a look uh, at our shiny cards. We already got him, but I'll give you a nice... Uh, for sticking to the end, I'll give you the reward of a nice zoom in on the art for these ones as well. Yeah, I don't recognize him at all. He's a champion. That's weird. 
I'm sure maybe it's just because the art's a little different. Uh, Imperial Dramana Fighter Mode, and it's nice and gold leafed, shiny, very cool. Paladramon, it evolves from, he's a mega. And then our last one, boom, here he is. It's War Greymon, aw yeah. Evolves from Metal Greymon, he's got 1800 attack. Woof, that's not enough to beat a Garnet. It's not enough to beat a Garnet, but it's still nice. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, I really appreciate it. Please uh, make sure to watch another video. We've done some Digimon uh, openings before. Maybe I'll link a card to the, the time I opened some Digimon movie cards. That video did not get nearly enough views. Uh, so, yeah, see you guys next time. Be jealous of my shiny cardboard. Okay, bye.